Part 2. Where art thou? The love of your life, that is. Part 2.1. Finding and vetting the future love of your life. You know, where and how do you find someone to fall in love with? And how does the process of finding the one really work? In a nutshell, here's how it happens. Number one, be seen. You won't meet anyone if you keep yourself hidden from the world. Get out there, online and or offline, and in all the ways available to you. Events, classes, parties, online dating apps, matchmaking services, etc. Be seen so you can advertise you, the product, to the right buyer, which is the future love of your life, who then chooses you just as you choose them to be with. Number two, be the best you can be personally so you can make the most amazing first impression and then follow through with continually impressing the other person with all your amazing qualities. Number three, luck. Being seen by the right person meant for you who happens to be passing by or coming across you at the right place at the right time, whether that's online, on some kind of dating app or other kind of website, social media, or maybe live in person somewhere, offline. Number four, we vet the other person properly and subtly without rushing into anything too fast. You can gain just as much information about someone through conversation, observation, and a little research back at home after you meet them to see if they'd be someone worth pursuing. Number five, time. Time to allow the getting to know you process to take its sweet time without anyone rushing into things that might cause one or both of you any amount of harm or regret. Now, if you think about it, that's not far from the truth. Let me go over those again. Number one, be seen. Number two, be the best you can be. Number three, luck. Being at the right place at the right time. Meeting the right person. Number four, vetting the other person properly and subtly without rushing into anything too fast. And number five, time. Allowing time to allow both of you to get to know each other without any harm or regret because you took things slow. Yeah. And again, if you think about it, that's not far from the truth. Granted, there are a variety of ways to meet people today, but in essence, those five factors usually remain constant in all potential meetings with the love of your life. Mm. Yes, you can improve your odds at meeting someone by changing your location and being seen somewhere new or working on your physical appearance. That goes for both online and offline efforts. Also, being the best you can be so you can attract someone to you and be able to vet them before you even allow them too close into your inner circle of life is a must. I also like the idea that time brings all things and people to you. Let me repeat that. Time brings all things and people to you. There's no need to rush into any potential relationship, per se. Take your time. In fact, a part of me doesn't even have to ask questions. I sometimes let the other person do so much talking. They volunteer information about themselves with me never ever having to ask anything. In this way, I don't come off like some kind of grand interviewer, but more of a great listener. Another great factor about finding love is you don't have to work any harder to meet someone than just by putting yourself out there and being the best you can be. That is, love has this funny way of walking right into your life when you least expect it. Just be out there. Be active. Be friendly. Be interesting. Be on the go and be a little busy. Have something going for yourself. Have life figured out. Have your finances in order. Be happy and let the universe work its magic for you. You know, finding love is a two-part process. Number one, you do your part. And number two, let the universe do its part. Come on, let's get you out there so you can find the love of your life. Single and ready to mingle? Yes? No? Scared? <laughs> let's go. You know, before you head out, there's a lot we're going to cover in part two. Where art thou? So, where are you at when it comes to heading out there looking for love? Are you ready to get out there and mingle? What's your local scene like? What's been your success with dating apps? Regardless of what your past history has been like going forward, you're going to have a renewed sense of purpose and strategic urgency when it comes to looking for that special someone. Going forward, you're not going to be too anxious or desperate to choose the first person that comes along. No, 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 no. 
Instead, you're going to be moving quite fast in your life. You've got places to be, people to see, and things to do. And all in accordance with how you live your life now. With purpose, drive, and a solid frame of mind that keeps you and your heart safe while looking for love in this crazy whack world. Now, here is a lover's mindset. What has been your mindset for finding love? There's probably a variety you could hold. Some good, some bad, some detrimental, and some self-defeating. What's been your history at finding love? Don't answer that, per se. Going forward, we're going to have a new mindset that is only set on finding the exact kind of lover you'd like to invite into your life. Someone custom made for you, almost. Someone you'll attract based on how you live your life and how you think about life, as well as your approach to romance and how you go about asking the universe to deliver what you want in a romantic mate. Come on, you're single and let's get ready to mingle.